My name is Scott Massey. I'm from Evansville, Indiana, and I'm a graduate from Purdue University where I studied mechanical engineering technology. While at Purdue University, I worked on a NASA-funded research study which used a hydroponic controlled environmental chamber to develop a research system that identified the optimal wavelength of light using LEDs to grow plants in space. As NASA is looking to expand the reach of human colonizations into Mars and the lunar colonies that will happen in the next few decades, we must find innovative ways to grow plants. And at the same time, as we find ways to grow uh, food and plants more energy and more sustainably efficiently uh, here, uh, these same concepts are directly applicable to the problems that we're encountering here on Earth. Our goal at Helaponics is to become the world's largest farming company without using a single acre of land. As we move forward into this brave new area of expansionist agriculture, we must first ask ourselves, what are these limits? Because we have found them already. The environment is already suffering from some of the constraints limited by agriculture, and we are identifying more energy and space efficient systems that are able to grow food at a localized household basis. By eliminating the supply chain entirely and growing food in a manner that prioritizes the consumer, their health, and the overall taste food experience, we've developed a food platform that can learn from the individual's feedback and will constantly improve the more we learn from them. My biggest regret from my university undergraduate's experience at Purdue University was not having more of an emphasis on business accounting skills. I think that my business acumen took some learning before I was able to really have an independent and confident uh, guidance on the company. Uh, my other regret is to not have a foreign lingual skill throughout my collegiate career. Uh, some of the markets I've gone into that our supply chain is relying on, particularly Asia, uh, it's been difficult to communicate with some of these areas due to lingual barriers. On the other hand, we've been very fortunate to have been awarded several reciprocal exchange uh, ex uh, grants to build low-cost hydroponic farms in food insecure regions in West and Central Africa. Many of these regions are primarily French speaking, which again, as a single English speaking individual, that has been uh, difficult uh, to navigate some of those markets, uh, which have required uh, some sort of lingual interpretation to be able to speak to audiences with clarity. Uh, being able to speak with clarity is oftentimes, as I've observed, the deciding factor on the success of the company. Are you able to speak with consistency to your investors, your customers, your employees? Because if there is a disconnect in any one of these groups, oftentimes a business cannot survive. I would recommend that all college students find ways to become involved in groups on campus that would force them to be in a public speaking scenario. I oftentimes, that when I speak to individuals who may self-label themselves as an individual who cannot speak publicly, oftentimes possesses all the skills that they needed to do so, it's simply their fear of failure that must be resolved. And the only way to truly overcome this is to put yourself in that situation and overcome it as soon as possible. Uh, growing up, I had my own difficulties. I had a speech impediment and even had to attend speech therapy classes as a child uh, to try and overcome these problems that to this day, I mispronounce things very frequently. Uh, but as you can see here, I've competed in a number of business plan competitions and have been able to win hundreds of thousands of dollars for my business that has allowed me to create not just an employment opportunity for myself, but several people that work for me and with me in our company as we move forward in our common goal of eliminating food insecurity and increasing food quality for humanity as a whole. Uh, so above all else, communication is critically important in how you communicate to yourself, your team, your investors, your customers, your supply chain. There must be consistency. If there is not consistency, then your messaging will oftentimes have a disconnect and that is frequently where businesses fail. I recommend that all students pursue an art class, at the very least an introductory drawing class. I think art at its most basic element is about minimalistic design, being able to have absolute clear communication to the viewer regardless of their language, socioeconomic situation, but to deliver a clear message through some sort of visual or optical uh, illustration presented to them. I have found that in mechanical engineering, in patent drawing, in software development, uh, these concepts are very similar. Uh, there is beauty and simplicity being able to achieve an outcome with 
the least amount of resources. And I find that especially when someone is from a different domain than that of the art college, they can possibly gain the most from learning from these insights. Uh, because being able to eliminate any sort of redundancy in operation is critically important for any small business which cannot afford to be wasteful in its most early foundational uh, development stages. As humanity grows and we expand the limits of agricultural expansionism, we have found that there's a limited amount of space, water, and other resources available in the world in order to grow the food that's needed for the growing human population. Uh, going forward, it is now our generation's uh, duty and obligation to develop more robust food systems that will not only feed and resolve the current problems we're facing today, but feed our children and their children's children's generations for many to come.